Welcome back to the Smithy Spotlight. I'm Jared. And I'm Jake. Uh, first week of testing is done, and I know I really enjoyed the late starts uh, while the rest of you guys were testing. Next week we have math tests, and only a two hour delayed start for those of us coming in late. Let's check out some of our leaders. Specifically, some literacy leaders. Yep. Grab your popcorn and your soda. It's time for the semifinals of the water chucking competition. We are down to the final four people. Should have been me. This is round three of the water chucking competition, and I'm here with the first seed Eric and the fourth seed Cameron. And I say go, chug. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Nobody stands a chance. I'm here with the sixth seed Mac and the second seed Ashton, and they're chugging. When I say go, chug. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the chummy's going. <laughs> oh, oh, he's slowing down. Go, oh, you, you guys go, both suck. You better go. Oh, oh, you better go. Brummy, go. Go get him, Brummy. Down. <laughs> No, no Brummy's going to Oh, you fumbled. <laughs> In sports today, the drag team is hitting the driveway. The JV softball team is at Cloverleaf. And the baseball team is home versus Minerva. On Saturday, softball plays Lucas. The JV teams both play on Monday. Softball at driveway and baseball home with Worcester. On Tuesday, the track team has a try meet at Down with Whitman there too. Both baseball and softball play Wayndale on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. Josh Davis attempted to tie the high jump record at the meet last Tuesday with a jump of six feet four and a quarter inches. We will let you know if Josh is able to break this record. Next week, we see if Mac can take down the number one seat, Eric. Now it's time for some stories from the spotlight. Here's part one of me and Fat. Which stories you have? Tell me. Stories? Wait, are you going right now? Welcome back to Stories from the Spotlight. I'm your host, Jaren. And this week, I brought a friend. Woo! I'm Thad. This is Thad. He's a yeah. Thad. That's his name. Anyways, uh, brought him here because you had some stories you said you wanted to tell. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Are you sure? All right, what's your first story, man? Uh, a story? Um, well this is, uh, okay, shout out to, um, to everyone in my ninth period science class in sixth grade with Mrs. Hershey. We all love Mrs. Hershey. We all know her. Mrs. Hershey, the GOAT. <laughs> she is the GOAT. Oh my gosh. Honestly. We were doing this activity. Do you remember those activities where it would be like, she'd ask us some questions and like, some were worth more points and some were like, Oh yeah, 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 I remember those. Yeah, this <laughs> just got bro, every activity we ever did. I love, yeah, I, bro, I like when she actually gave out her shoes. That was really fun. Yeah, so much. Vibes. Um, but yeah, we were, you know, we were vibing. I was in a group of like four other people a lot smarter than me. Um, and the question was something like, what is, was 90 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? Because, you know, that's what we were working on. Oh. Um, and for all of you big brain students out there, you know that the answer is 30. Um, 30 degrees Celsius. I did not know that. And I knew that because I was a smart child. 
but everyone in my group was insisting that it was 60 degrees. And I was like, that's stupid. Don't you know? 30 is hot. 20 is nice. 10 is cold. And zero is ice. Dang. Yeah. Inspirational. And let's um, you to send down bars. Bars. Straight Honestly, up. Bro. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I was over there with that advanced knowledge and none of them knew. And I insisted that it was 30 degrees, but all of them, um, I remember, uh, Avery was in my group, Avery Wanger, um, Olivia Haynes, shout out to, uh, the other two people that were in my group, by the way, you guys are idiots. I was right and you were wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so yeah. Dang. Yeah. Savage. Thank you. That was a beautiful story. That mm -hmm. was funny. What? <laughs> but, yeah, what? What? It was funny. Sorry. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Just trying to host my show. It's like, God, go ahead. I'm going. I do it. I did. It. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. Good for you. Anyway. Uh, so, what has been probably your like favorites in your memory? Like, what is the one thing that like peaked your senior life? Peaked my senior life. Like, what's the biggest thing so far? Like, what are you most excited for for the last for the last like twelve weeks we got? Come on. <clears throat> Sorry. Um. <laughs> so my favorite senior memory. Um. Yeah. As all good high schoolers should be, my favorite senior memory is uh, of Daniel Frizzell. So we were, you know, we're vibing in Daniel Frizzell's class. There's six of us because it's a small class. Shout out to Literature Appreciation. Take that class. So much better than college writing. <clears throat> um, but we were vibing, you know, doing our, probably goofing off, honestly. Um, and we found out Ott's Coffee was outside. For those of you who don't know what Ott's Coffee is, it's like, um, if Ott's you guys coffee. Did, drink like an angel um so Oz coffee was outside and we really wanted it the whole six of us um so we were like hey mr frizzell can we just go get Oz coffee in the middle of your class in hindsight that was kind of disrespectful but um he said yes so pog lesson here be respectful to, or be disrespectful to your teachers don't do that <laughs> <laughs> um no he let us go but i like stayed behind for a little bit to like pack my stuff up or something and i was like hey why'd you let us go you know we were leaving in the middle of your class. And he was like, well, you see, if you guys fail your cl this class, it's on you. Because this is like a college class. And like, you guys have enough responsibility that uh, I can trust you guys to do your work. And if you don't do your work, then I know you'll take responsibility for not doing your work. Because you guys are so responsible. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. Like, because I did all this work, in this class, you know, all this work that I did for uh, you know his class, uh, no goofing off at all. I 100% believe you. Um, he trusted enough us enough to get Ott's coffee. So the lesson here, uh, disrespect your teachers and do work. One of those is the truth, one of those is a lie. Which one is it? Figure it out. Comment one of us speaks in riddles, one of us speaks in rhymes, one of us is lying all the time. Now the weather. The weather for next week will be highs of... 71 to 47. And lows of... 54 to 32. Stay warm, Smithies.